Hey guys, Takiyasugi here, gonna tell you a little bit about the video recording software I use for Lost Saga and other games as well. Uh, so I use FSSplit in conjunction with Borderless Gaming. Uh, FSSplit is pretty much a screen capture kind of recorder. Um, it won't record full screen video games, so you'll have to play them in window mode. But if you want the full screen experience, usually this program, Borderless Gaming, takes care of that and lets you play it in window mode, which in turn lets you record with record with FF Split. So yeah, the two work pretty well together. Uh, so FF Split, um, you can locate it here at fsplit.com downloads. You can get the latest test build or the older version. I am using the older version, so this is an outdated kind of version, but it works well for me. If you want to see what the newer version looks like, I'm going to go ahead and launch it here. I don't tend to use it, but I just uh, have it installed anyway for whatever reason. Uh, maybe I'm going to go over it a little bit while going over the older one. <laughs> so if you want the older one that I use, you go into this section here, older versions. I just find the older version a little simpler to work with. That's just why I use it. So I use the 609 one. So that's the one I use. So you can see it's right there, 609. And this newer one, which is what the most newer ones look like, are, is 070. So yeah, um, the older version, your settings, you know, you pretty much have your capture settings, which is... Uh, Let's go ahead and open them side by side here and go ahead and go through them both. So yeah, this you can see it's kind of more complicated on the newer version than the older version. So yeah, here's your video settings for the uh, for the newer versions in the encoder section. So your capture settings, so your encode settings so are right here in the older version. Your video bit rate, uh, that's what's going to make your videos look good. So. Uh, it's defaulted at zero on my older one. That's just because it automatically props up to a good level there. I, I'm not even sure what level it goes up to. Uh, but yeah, something like 2000 is really good for streaming if you have like a 5 megabit upload speed on your connection. Um, otherwise, if you're saving locally, you can ramp it up a lot more. Maybe you'll go to 2500 and get pretty smooth quality on your videos. And you'll have to kind of work around with that and record some test videos and see what comes out looking the best and uh, just the higher you go it's just going to cause you more lag if you're streaming or uh, increase the file size if you're just saving it locally for uh, uploading to YouTube and uh, your frame rate, your frame rate is going to make the videos look a little smoother it's not really a big deal for a lot of people but if you have it at 60 it's usually going to lag you more uh, if you don't have a high-end computer. So tone it down a little bit if you're doing high-quality kind of gameplay. Uh, 45 is what I usually go down to if I'm using input characters because uh, there is a little bit of delay for my system nowadays. <laughs> and there's your resolution, so make sure you get your resolution right, uh, depending on your setup for Lost Saga or other games. And uh, your capture sources. Your capture sources are in this section for the new one. It's still in the same section for the old one. Uh, your direct video, and that's pretty much your video adapter. I use the overlay. Uh, actually, you know, it's the video adapter on this one, but it says video source for this one. And your audio playback, uh, which is basically your window uh, Windows uh, sound, which is your video game sound. And your microphone source, which is your capture recording device on your uh, newer version, which is just your microphone. <laughs> And uh, other options, important on the older one, uh, record to hard drive. If you want to save it to upload on YouTube, you, you're going to want to check that option on the older one. Otherwise, it's in session and on the newer one. You'll click the local recording right there, and that'll save it to your uh, hard drive. And you can configure where it saves to in the uh, other section here and the settings sections in the older version. Uh, so there's your uh, offline recording options. There's your recording folder for the older one. And there's your local recording folder for the newer one. So you can change it if you like. Other options important to note on the FS split is the file format. You can go with FLV, MKV, or MP4. I usually go with FLV because I don't tend to do much video editing. And I like just, uh, if I do any video editing, I just splice uh, videos together sloppily. <laughs> uh, but yeah, FLV is a pretty small size file and uploads to YouTube really, really nicely. So yeah, that's about it for FS Split, guys. I'm um, going to tell you a little bit about Borderless Gaming here. I'm going to close out the newer version because I don't need that right now. So Borderless Gaming, you can locate it here. Again, I'll put this in the description, the links for this. Uh, if you can't find it in my link or my link expires, just Google Borderless Gaming. You'll find something like this, code USA Borderless Gaming. Uh, this program is really nice. You click this green button here. It'll give you the download. It comes in a zip file, really small size, so it's not a big download. 
you just extract it with some like 7 zip or something click the XE and run it and you'll get a pr uh, window like this and in the processes you'll usually find games as long as you're running them you have to be running them to use this program so Lost Saga is showing up there because I have Lost Saga up look at all these beautiful characters <laughs> uh, so you can click on Lost Saga click this arrow to bring it over to favorites and Voila, the window, the nasty border on Lost Saga is gone in window mode. So it does simulate full screen really nicely for Lost Saga. And I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate it quickly on um, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance as well, uh, which is another game that has pretty bad window mode. So you can see it's got a really nasty uh, border for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And let's let it load all the way just to give you an idea without these uh, splash screens here. Come on, Havoc. Come on, Havoc Engine. Oh, Christ. Look at all these ads, or developers and stuff who contributed to this game. What a bunch of assholes. <laughs> so yeah, come on, pop up, pop up. There's what we want. So you can see the experience is uh, not as powerful as it would be if it was full screen. So if you use this program, you can see it showed up in the program here. Just pop it over. Voila, you got your full screen on Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So yeah, it's a really nice program, really good for a lot of games. Uh, it doesn't work on some games sometimes, but it's pretty rare that it usually doesn't uh, doesn't work for most games. They're pretty good at updating it and keeping it up to date. So yeah, you can see Lost Saga looks pretty good with this program and FS Split combined. So yeah, hopefully this helps you guys make some nice videos for Lost Saga and other games and. I hope, hopefully you guys can make some nice stuff and enjoy yourselves and <laughs> get these uh, programs working for you really good. So thanks for watching guys and see you next video and see you maybe next video for yours. So thanks for watching. <laughs>